welcome back mga Pazoy and we're currently here at the Azuela Cove and we are going towards the seaside promenade. At this area of Azuela, we are still at the first phase of its development and you were able to see it in our previous videos. This is the venue of the first Ironman 17.3 in Davao and now we are going to look at what are some of the developments in this area, especially at the seaside area. We will shortly pass from this Rupunda but we are not going to have a turn right there yet we are going to move forward and from there we are going to turn right. We are going to observe some winding roads and we are going to turn right and we are towards the seaside promenade. This area at Azuela Cove towards the seaside promenade is really one of those best places for very outgoing people to have their early morning jog or their afternoon jog so that they are going to have a vibe of a green space, very wide space because there's not much of buildings and not much of vehicle traffic in here and then people are really having fun with their outgoing lifestyle in here. And so we are still going towards the seaside promenade and we are going to see a lot of development from here. So we are seeing some residential areas plus you are seeing that those tall buildings over there so that's one of the developments of the Ayala land and from here you can also see some of the development of the summer reach and so we are going to expect it to be seen in here with this as well the Cove seaside promenade development you are also going to expect a lot more of developments in this area because this is really a wide space and it is going to be one of the central business districts in the city of Davao and it is really a progressive one and actually formerly this is where the St. Luke's Medical Center planned to have its Davao hospital yet it is not still pursuing for now hopefully very soon so you're seeing some of those condominium buildings on the Ayala land premiere for those who wanted to go to here at the seaside promenade and bring in their cars actually there is a parking space at the left side and so hopefully we are going to turn at that rotunda <laughs> but then we are seeing that parking space is full so you can still park in here but then sometimes it's really full yet you are going to enjoy the seaside promenade Entering the seaside promenade is not yet free for all. All you have to do is that you have to purchase some items at the Gaysano supermarket or the department store or you are able to dine at any of the restaurants of Azuela Co. And we are currently walking here at the seaside promenade area at its entrance and you are seeing those break waters on your left side and also you are going to see the buildings at the right side. Truly, the Azuela Cove Seaside Promenade is one of the newest landmarks in the city of Davao and it may be a private property but then it is really one of those places wherein people can unwind, do some picnic, and just walk around or even jog around. 
so it is really one of those best places whenever you are coming here in the Mao city at least to see it as well a cove and then nearby you are also going to see Samal Island and soon you are going to observe also the development of the Samal Island Davao city connecting bridge but what is really important right now is that you can really unwind in this area of the seaside promenade at the Azuela Cove. And you are really going to see if ever these trees right here will really be in full bloom. It is going to be a very very good site to be in whenever you are in the Bao City. And you are looking at those families having their unwinding activities yes and it is really a very good spot whenever you don't want to swim in the beach so you can just have a glimpse of the sea waters plus the islands surrounding Davao City so we are seeing Samal Island and it is going to be connected here in Davao City and in a while we are going to see the buildings of Ayala Land from here and so it's really a very good space a good, very good place a very good investment amongst those who can afford in this area because this is really a very good seaside property area of Davao and this is going to be a bustling central business district in the many central business districts in the city of Davao and I think and I believe that there will be some yacht club in this area, I suppose, <laughs> because there is really a very good space for that in this area. Plus, a lot of people who are going to reside in here may be able to have their own yacht. <laughs> and so we're going back towards the towards the buildings and we are going back to our home. And so that is our Azuela Cove Seaside Promenade area here in the Pau City and hopefully you were able to come here or if you haven't yet come here, hopefully you can unwind in this place. Yes, you can have fun in this place, you can have your picnic and then rest assured that you are going to feel some safety and also some comfort in this area of the Pau City. And hi there! <laughs> And so we are going back to our car and drive back towards the exit of Azuela Cove. And so there you go mga kadzai. It is really a lovely space here in Davao City. And this is only at the Azuela Cove property. And this is a very very good space yeah, for those running people <laughs> and we are going to experience here to unwind even though you don't want to get soaked in the waters of the beach and still you are going to see the beach feel the sea breeze and everything like that so many more developments in this area and hopefully to see a lot more to rise in this place By the way, mga kadzoy, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do not hesitate to subscribe by clicking that red button and also click that notification bell so that you will always be updated with all of our channel activities. Thank you very much! So driving back towards the main entrance and exit of Azuela Cove, we can observe that it is a bit distant, yet it is really going to be a very good space for those outgoing individuals who are coming here for a jog or a run early in the morning or in the afternoon. By the way, an early morning jog is free for all. <laughs> it's just that you have to make sure that you'll be able to wake up early in the morning and not later than 7 or 8 and so you can still enjoy it for free. And I believe I told you earlier that this is the area of the Iron Man 70.3 in Davao way back and this is not the actual area of the bicycle or the run 
it is on the other side but this area is for the vehicles that goes in towards the seaside promenade and this is more developed and we are going outside and we are seeing that the sun is really on its setting area but we are going to go towards the entrance or exit of Azuela Cove and in a while we are going to see again the Azuela Rukuta So there you go mga kajoy and we are on our final stretch in here and we are in the Rotunda area and we will be exiting as well a cove and hopefully you will be able to visit the seaside promenade so that you can really unwind. I am a bit frequent at Azuela Cove because this is one of the nearest supermarkets in our area and hopefully to see you in here and hopefully to see you in my vlog. And there you go mga kajoy, hopefully you enjoyed this road trip at the Azuela Cove towards the seaside promenade. So here is it, we are at the exit or the entrance of Azuela Cove and thanks for watching, until next time, goodbye!